You're going to uh, love Lee Carpe, the Queenstown mechanic. He's taken this humble Subaru hatchback and he's turned it into a triumph for Kiwi ingenuity. Here's Mike Thorpe and the story of the Supreme. <laughs> what? When it comes to sweet rides... This wouldn't have been my choice of car, to be honest. When it comes to speed... Uh, pretty underwhelming, really. <laughs> when it comes to cutting-edge technology... What's this? Uh, that's Sally's No More Gaps. The Submarine falls short on virtually every level. Don't put this bit on TV. But then it only has to do two things. Drive... Here we come. ..and float. It can do both. And that's what makes Lee a buoyant racer. Let's just head straight in, eh? When you first took this out on, on the lake, how confident were you that it was going to float? Um, I'd say 80%. 80%. So yeah. there's 20% of you going, oh, we could wind up at the bottom here. I have to admit, at times I was more 2080 than 8020. But we were there to put it to the test. I say we. Somebody had arranged alternative transport. So, Lee, is it everything you hoped it would be? Um, yeah, yep, there's definitely still a few little bugs to iron out. Like the water um, around my feet? Yeah, uh, that's probably just condensation or something. <laughs> but after a few anxious minutes, the remarkable scenery took effect, and I began to relax. More of a pleasure cruise than an adrenaline rush. I got What made you want to do this? Uh, I think it's pretty much most boys' dreams to have like a 007 car or something. And after a few busy weeks in his boss's workshop, Lee's secret agent dreams were realised. So you got your classic polystyrene. Pol polystyrene, yeah. Where's this come from? Uh, that was a Christmas present, that was the wrapping, um, so that would have just gone for the landfill. I got a few used oil containers, that's all closed cell buoyancy technology. This is one of those smart cars, isn't it? It uh, pretty much is, yeah, very environmentally friendly. But back on the water, it's not such a friendly environment. The road's a bit bumpy. Uh, yeah, it's, it is. It's like a waterbed, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's go back before I throw up. <laughs> Lee is already looking at possible improvements. As you heard there, it's not exactly serenity in here when you're motoring. <laughs> <laughs> I'd suggest you start with a sick bag, Lee, for seasickness or car sickness or both. Quote of the year, it's not exactly serenity in here when you're motoring. <laughs> Just cannot get enough of cars that turn into boats. Now, apparently, Mike told our producer off the record, sorry, yeah. Mike, you can blame Jono. He was packing himself. Yeah, the whole time. I saw that, it. I don't blame him. And that's cold, that's a beautiful but cold part of the world. Yes. You go into that lake any time of year, far less. This year, you're, you're, you're freezing, you're, you know, mm -hmm. you could fit your skinny jeans.